Hello everyone, last video I have showed you this ESP32 board how to config the relay output by the ESP home. And in this video I will show you how to use this digital input for ESP32 board so that you can connect with many dry contact sensors such as door sensor, smoking sensor, window sensor. Any dry contact sensor can connect with this terminal and so that your home assistant can monitor the sensor state and also you can do the automation uh, such as one sensor triangle and the relay output will be on and will be off okay let's step by step tell you how to configure it by ESP home let's look at uh, this is our A4 board that's made by ESP32 and this time first we connect with this USB cable the USB cable help connect with our server that have our Raspberry Pi USB port and this I have connected DC 12 volt. I connect with it so that the red LED will be on. So the hardware is ready. And this four channel is digital input. And you can see this is this terminal is ground. And this D1, digital input 1, D2, display D4. So later we will create this four terminal to home assistant uh, by the ESP home. Okay, let's put that here. And you can see this is our computer uh, home assistant dashboard. You can see I can turn on and turn off my relay. And uh, this is showed by the last video how to configure it. And this time we will look at this ESP home GPIO binary sensor. So because the first you need to make sure uh, what's your GPIOs you have used in your ESP32 board. So you can see that also is very easy. Just at last. Uh, that will have a monitor like this window sensor and how to configure it uh, just a uh, so easy sentence and the first we need to configure our hardware which GPI we have used and this is ESP32 module so you can see that is in digital input 1 digital input 2 and digital input 3 and digital input 4 so this 4 uh, GPI we will use it. And I have already listed it here so that you can see this GPL which number I have used it easily. Just 36 and 39 and 27 and 14. So this will be used. Okay, let's back to this ESP home uh, GPL binary sensor. And the first you need to see it here uh, active the internal pull up uh, resistance. When you need to use these options, you need to confirm with your PCB design. So you can see it here, this is A4 schematic, and this is digital input 1, and you can see in our schematic at here. That have a some resistance at here. The digital input 1 have a resistance pull up, have connect with the 3 volt. So this is our pull up resistance. So we have designed from the hardware to use this pull up. So at here, uh, this command, you not need to use it. Just delete. If you PCB design without this pull up resistance, you can enable the ESP32 internal pull up functions uh, by this two command. Okay? We can just skip this step uh, for our board. And the next, the invert value. So uh, I can test it. Uh, what this means? We can just copy to our config file. So I can just copy and paste in our ESP home A4 part. And at last, I just paste it here. And this is binary sensor number one. So I can see it here. The number one digital input is 36. So I change to number is 36 GPIO. And the name, uh, you can also, we can just, uh, as soon as this output, I just copy it here. Just the name to input. Uh, this is A4 bar input one. And the invert, uh, if we delete it, Delete it and press save and press install downloaded firmware. 
and by this USB cable, okay, I'll wait for a moment, that will be compliant and begin download to our ESP32 board. Okay, now you can see that you have download complete. Okay, I have connected successfully with the Home Assistant. Now I can click stop and back to dashboard. It's here, an A4 board. And we can add dashboard and add this binary sensor to our dashboard. And add card and entities. And this new table we can use this one, input. And A4, that you will see this input one. You can see A4 input one we have put and press C. And we can click down. And you will see this is the sensor state is here. And now we can test our board and you will see, pay attention to this state. What is changed when I shot for the ground? I have one cable connected connect to this ground and this another I will shut for the digital input one. So I can remove this socket and just this is ground. So this one side I have connect with the ground. You can see uh, this is the ground, so I sh connect it, and you will see if I shot with this digital input one, I use my cable and shot, that will be the red LED will be on. Pay attention to my home assistant. When I sh sorry, when I shot it, that will be off and release it that will be on. So this state maybe is not I wanted. I want when I shut this cable at this point, that will be on. And release this cable, that will be off. So the state is not I wanted. I need to change the state. This I want to tell you. What is the invert means? So that can change the state. Uh, the default setting is on or default setting is off. So this time, I need to copy this invert uh, to my Home Assistant config YAML file. I can copy and paste it here. Just paste it here. Invert true. If you delete it, that means default is false. So we need to set the invert to true and we can click save and click install again and download the firmware and let's test it what is changed and whether the import state is changed state okay complete and now let's test again so you can click overview and dashboard and this time you will see the import the default become off so this is our want Let's test the cable and shot with ground. And pay attention to my home assistant. And this time I will shot this cable with my input one. You can see here, I shot. That is on, home assistant is on, release is off. Shot is on, release is off. So this inverted have added, that is the logic we have, we wanted. So until now, you have added this first channel of digital input 1. If you want to add the rest of digital input 2, 3, and 4, so just copy and paste is very easy. So you can see here, add the Home Assistant YAML file, and you just need to copy this code. And copy, and paste, 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 and change your name, 1, two, three, four. And also change the pin number. Uh, the second, you can see, the second is 39. And the third, 
that is 27. And the next is 14. So I change to 14. OK, easy. Just save and install by USB cable. And wait for a moment. OK, complete and press stop. And back to the dashboard and add dashboard and click edit and you can see we can edit here a4 this is import 2 and a4 we can choose import 3 and a4 we can choose import 4 and press save and down and this time you can see here I have four chain of digital input let's test it and you can see now i will shut with my digital input one that channel 1 is on, and this digital input 2, that channel 2 is on, and digital input 3, that 3 is on, and this next, the 4. So this 4 is on. So this I have added the 4 channel of digital input. Okay, this is create the 4 channel. And the last option is also uh, sometimes is very useful. That have a debounce value. What that means, maybe you have seen my video in uh, before, I have shot the ground, that is not very good contact. So this have a field that will have a delay time. What use for that means, and pay attention to my uh, video and this home assistant state and my cable, you can see again. If this cable or use wall switch with not a good contact, you can see just like like this, just like this, in my home assistant, and there will be the signal will be not stable. So just like this, maybe you have a button. So this button have another good contact. So the signal will not very good. So the signal will ju just like this. So this we don't want. It. So we can just add this field. So this time we need to reduce this interference. So we can use this, these sections, add this value, and add this delay time. So you can copy and paste. I will show you. Just add this, copy, and paste it here for the number one, channel one. It's here. We can about uh, 10 million seconds. Uh, just do uh, this one, uh, add this, this number behind this number. So just add this. We can change to uh, 50 million seconds. I just want to see you clearly. And click save and click install and by the USB. And after download, I will compare the digital input 1 to short the cable very quickly and the digital input 2 I short the cable very quickly and you can compare these two states how it changed okay you can click stop and close it and we can see this dashboard pay attention to this input 1 and this input 2 now I can use this cable and short for input 1 fast you can see here and let's compare with the digital input tool so you can see here that is fast fast change of state and but the input one you can see this will be stable because it have the delay time so that can reduce the interference signal so this is fast and this is this is slowly this is very fast. So, which time you will use this function? Uh, for example, it have a small switch. Uh, maybe you have you have very fast that have no code contact, so that you can add this delay time. What value will add to this delay time? I think for the wall switch, uh, ten or twenty milliampere is enough for you to use. So at here. We have learned how to add the digital input and how to 
improvement the digital input exper experiments at here. Okay, thanks for watching.